where, where we're at as Americans uh, in our willingness to, I mean, we, we voluntarily participate in it, but it's not forced on us, but yet we are being conditioned, especially for, I think, about anybody under 40. If people don't understand what this digital currency means for them. It's, you know, digital currency, don't we already have that, sort of? You know, people just don't get it, I guess. Uh, but what, can you imagine that the central bank will have the ability to program your money that's in your wallet individually with, in other words, you as an individual and the money that, that, that exists in your wallet, every single unit of that money is, whether it's called a, a marrow or whatever, it doesn't matter. It can be programmed for usage as you spend it. If you're a, if you're just going, not going along with the, the, your carbon footprint or whatever, you won't be able to spend your money when you where you want it and and when you want to spend it. Programming programmable money has already been pioneered in China. That's where it started. This means you will be living in a total net of uh, I don't call it a, uh, a so total surveillance of what you do, what you spend, um, and you won't have autonomy like you do today to spend your money like you want to, period. There's already programmable systems in place. When we think about food stamps, as an example, you bring your card in, it's programmed with a certain amount of money, but you go to try to buy maybe cigarettes or beer or alcohol or something, and it says, sorry, you can't, yes. it knows that you can't, yes. That you can't purchase those things, and, and so it'll decline it. So the systems are already there. They're, are they fully mature? No, but they are in that system that works. Mm -hmm. But let's talk about this kind of as a wrap up here. You know, I, I'm not a fear monger, and that's not my goal. I don't think the Bible gives us things, uh, these things to cause us to fear. Tell us, and you, you have a chapter, a couple chapters on this in the book. How do we, one of the titles is Resistance is Not Futile. So, how do we, what's our goal as Christians here? As we watch these things continue to go, we're not going to pray them away. Kind of give us some hope and comfort here. Well, you, you're right. <clears throat> Resistance is always a good thing. But that doesn't mean it's going to win you in any battles <laughs> or necessarily the war for this. But as we live in the world today, we're instructed to be ambassadors for Christ not uh, dwell dwellers on earth for Christ, right? We're, we're supposed to be representing another kingdom that is not a visible one. And what a lot, a lot of people are going to really struggle with this uh, in a good way s soon <laughs> as this really gets cooking, where they'll realize that they can be separate from it. But they have; they do not have to be of it. Even if you're in it, but you're not of it. This is going to be a, a mind changer for a lot of Christians, I think. This and this and the near future, and it should be because it should be. It should have been this way all along for all of us, right? And I have to confess, when my life hasn't been uh, very good uh, as, an, as an ambassador sometimes, uh, but I'm thinking about a lot right now. Because if you don't uh, obey the scripture on this, to be an ambassador for Christ, representing a foreign country for this, from this world's perspective, we live in a foreign country. Country, this is the country where we our citizenship is, and when we grasp that concept, it makes it so much easier to deal with what's going on to the world today. We should not be afraid of anything coming down with these people because the devil's behind all of it, all of it, 100%. And whatever his schemes might be, we should be able to dissect them completely and let people know what's going on here. You know, we're the only ones really who have answers today for what's going on. Yeah. We need to share it, period. Patrick, I appreciate your time. and. Again, for, for, for those uh, watching and listening, here we are. We, we know that God has called us to be in this moment. He's going to equip us. He's not going to leave us as orphans. And so for
This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. Hallelujah. This world is not my home. We are strangers and pilgrims in this world. We're just passing through. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is coming soon.